family. How long has it been since I got on the pool up for a fast food review? Oh, we're going to take care of that right now. I'm finna slide up over to BK. Now, let me tell you a little something about over a year ago, Burger King did release their Royal Melts. Different kind of melts. Whopper Melt is the one that I reviewed, but I do remember the fact that they didn't have it out even though they were advertising it at my local BK. So the manager actually created a Whopper Melt for your boy and I ended up reviewing that. It was some cheesy goodness. Burger King, what up though? Uh, is that sourdough hitting the way it needs to be hitting with the cheese oozing like lava loving? Is the beef actually thick, thick? I'm talking oatmeal thick. I'm talking about fresh milkshake thick through the straw where you're sitting there with the fish lips trying to hit that milkshake and it's getting stuck in the throat tolicles, but the creaminess slides down with these. I'm talking about that kind of thing. I'm wondering, shh, I'm wondering, does it still have the stacker sauce? That savory yet tangy sweetness hint subtle on the sweet, creamy, rich filling and delicious, complimenting, complimenting the beef and that sourdough action. Are you going to beat me upside the head with some grilled onions is what your boy wondering. I don't know. We're about to get on the pull up though. Over here, you know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that bacon one. I need that bacon joint. Thank you for kissing bacon. Can I help you? Yeah, let me get your uh, your bacon milk. Bacon milk? You want the meal or the sandwich? Um, I'll get the meal and a large water. Meal and large water? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah as you know, BK fries always are on time when they fresh. Oh, I love a fresh batch of BK Fries family. It's been a minute, so let's get all in it. BK Fries, are you hitting the way you need to be hitting? <laughs> family, it's been, what, about a month or two, three months? <laughs> Salty. Mm. Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The salt hand on these joints? I appreciate y'all for real, for real. But y'all trying to skyrocket a brother blood pressure proper. And this right here got to be two layers of salt shaking on these fries. Now they're crispy. They are hot. They are fresh. They just made these joints. But there is hella salt on these fries, family. This is some next level action. Flavorful. I, not, I like a nice little potato bite and everything, but whoa, baby, whoa. But my fluffy behind can't stop eating them. Mm. One more for the road that I'm on. <laughs> one more, one more. All right, I'm done, I'm done. Chill, I'm done. Get over here, that on it. <laughs> Woo! Mm. <coughs> yeah. Mm. 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 Let's get on into this bacon melt. You heard? Mm. All right, I see you, BK. Melty juicy for that Brandon on that joint. All right. Well, let's just see what it's hitting on, huh? Come on, come on, come on, Melty. Okay, sourdough bread game. Drop the top on the convertible box. That thing looking golden. The sun hitting it just right. Yeah, the, the sun is hitting the bun just right. You know how the ladies like uh, tanning on the beach? Like, ooh, that sun hitting just right. Or they over there getting their selfie game proper. Ooh, the sun hitting just right. That sun is definitely hitting just right on the bun. Hold on. Hold on. Drop it on top. The thing is soft. Look a little small. Grilled onions. Bacon. Mmm. Right here, look... Look kind of reduced in size. Uh, the bun to beef ratio. Ah, I, I don't love it. I don't love the bun to beef ratio with the the melt, the bacon melt. And you're calling it bacon melt, and I dig it. I dig it. Two little soft slabs of bacon. <clears throat> oh boy! I come back to fast food. 
And this is my very first review coming back to fast food family. I got partial impartial melted cheese going on here. And my bacon look like it, it ain't going to hit. But let's take a bite of it anyway. Oh, oh. How do I say goodbye to a good bacon man? Mm. This foul taste wasted my time and made me cry. Cry if we get <laughs> to see a better family. Honestly, I should have just left it inside of its wrapper if I knew it was gonna make a mess. Family, this is a disappointing day in the fast food game. Burger King, definitely a disappointing day in the fast food game. Um a year ago, I liked the one that the manager here created for me because it tastes much better. This one right here, all right, we got uh, a <sighs> water beef patty and a double patty action up off in there. And the cheese is decent. Again, partially and partially melted. You have your stacker sauce. And stacker sauce always, always comes through with a nice zesty tang to it. But there is no difference between our grilled onion softness and our bacon softness. It tastes like, ugh. One of the same. And we already saw the bacon. We already knew it was going to be a sus bit situation. The uh, sourdough breading here, ugh, definitely not excited about. I really think that it's just too much. A regular bun of fun when it comes to your melted burger game definitely would help this one along. And if the bacon were crispier, Therefore, you'd have crispy bacon going up against soft grilled onion. That would definitely help because you would actually get some of that salty, porky, just fat flavor loving. And I do not get that here. I just get a soft mush butt burger. And this one just fell flat like somebody tripping and not catching themselves on the way down. Just bam. You see what I'm saying to you? Face to the floor action on this burger right here. So Burger King for the return of your, your your bacon melt on your sourdough. We haven't done this in a long time, family, but I got to do it. This right here is a one and you're done, son. This is a one and you're done. Ah, oh, man, BK. Family, I need to wash that mess down with some of this BK water. Because the best thing about this meal today was the fries in the water. You can leave. The main difference between Friendly's Burger Melt and Burger King's Burger Melt was the fact that Friendly's, they, they taste a little bit better. Now, I wouldn't really say Friendly's hit me with that made to order of beef. That beef was really greasy. And unless they were using, I don't know, 70-30. Uh, you want to go with some type of lean beef, more on the 90-10 when you go with the lean beef. They probably might have rocked with 80-20. I was getting extra grease activity. It was still cheesy. It was still dripping, but it was dripping just a little too much. Flavorful, yes. Enhanced on that grilled onion, brought in great flavor. My choice to go with brioche bun, I think. Normally, they rock with the over here at Friendly's, but I had a choice to go with brioche bun. That was a decent melt. Decent. The best melt I've ever had? No. A decent melt? Yes. Better than Burger King? Yes. Burger King definitely dropped the ball on their bacon melt. However, Friendly's picked the ball up, had that nice little transition as they took the ball, ran it in the opposite direction, and went for the touchdown. They got stopped short, though. They got stopped short. That grease, ooh, it stopped you short, Friendly. You didn't get the touchdown, but at least you were able to pick up the fumble. At least you were able to turn around the situation and make it better. You did make it better. I'm definitely giving Burger King's Bacon Melt a one and you're done, son. Friendlies, you get a three-piece, baby. Not bad. You get a three-piece on that. Keep working.